what's up youtube it's josh creates here with another video in today's video we have tiktok vent about the economy in today's times the economy so without further ado let's get right into this video maybe it is all a test because i feel like i'm the I'm going to have to get a second job because even though I'm making 13 an hour, working 40 hours a week isn't enough in this economy. After my bills, I have no money left over to save. So what do I do? Side hustle, baby. So I always act like I'm the best. And I... Wait a second. Wait. Exactly. I just got an alert <clears throat> on my email that... Our car insurance is going up $71 a month. And I just... How many jobs are we supposed to have? Like, I can only do so much. And it's just like, bills keep going up and keep going up. And I just... I went to college and I got my degree and I did the right thing. And I did the thing I was supposed to do. And now it's just like... I don't know. I know I'm blessed and I, I, we have a roof over our head and we have groceries, but it's like. Thank God. As soon as we start to catch up, something breaks or we have to fix something or a bill pops up or we have to go to the hospital. I don't know. It's just like. Facts. Like something always pops up, dog. I'm always stressed. I don't know. I just. I don't even know why I'm filming this. I just want other people to know that, like, you're not alone. I don't know. Yeah. I hope it gets better. We all But do. the economy is just kicking my ass. Everyone. I don't know. Can someone let me know? But she did say earlier in the video that her, I think her car insurance is going up, what, $70 a month? That didn't sound right, because I would be stoked if my car insurance was just $71 a month. Maybe an extra $71 to the current um, policy, insurance policy that she has on her insurance. But, hey, needless to say, everything will be okay. Her eyes looked like it was about to water. And yeah, girl, you're not the only one going through it, man. Just thank God for what you have and just take things slow. I don't know when the apocalypse is because I am, I am tired. I am tired of groceries being so high. I am tired of being unemployed. I am tired of seeing rich celeb after rich celeb be so out of touch. I'm si tired of seeing rich people in general. I am tired of trying to live in this economy with a disabled body and neurodiverse mind and i'm very tired of this whole quiet economic collapse can it be a little louder so i know that there's nothing else i can do because it feels like all this pressure to side hustle and apply for these jobs is getting to me and i'm tired of it all so can we just get the revolution started <laughs> i don't care i don't care okay i don't i, I really don't give a fuck Look, y'all, let, let, let me let y'all know something real quick. Owning a vehicle is, is probably the hardest thing that's going to hit you as an adult. Fuck rent right now because I don't know what the hell going on with these gas prices. First of all, you got to buy the car. Then you got to pay to insure the car. And on top of that, you got to pay to drive the car. This, these gas prices, you know gas $3 a gallon right now? This shit is ridiculous. I just left the CK Mart off Broad River. And I got off the interstate to come back on my side of town and looked at the meter and just so happened, I, my tank ain't even halfway full. I put, tell me, it was a day. Let me pull over, cause this shit got me hot. It was a day where you could put $20 in your damn car and you good. I ain't even ate the day. Oh man. I ain't even eat. <laughs> the fuck? And I just put $40 in this shit that ain't even full? Oh man, I felt that. I felt that I ain't even eat part, bro. Because it's like your 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 mind is just focused on like 
trying to get things together, you just forget about yourself, bro. Oh my God. Oh, I know how he feels. And yes, he's very correct. There was a time where you could just put a 20 and you'll be good. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I've had it with this dump. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> and I thought it was the UK that was on its arse. Seems like these Americans are really fucking struggling with the cost of living crisis. Check this video out. Tell me it don't break your heart. How can someone earning $80,000 a year be struggling to live? This is fucked. Made and we are literally the brokest we've ever been. Brokest we've ever broke been. Brokest we've ever been. Brokest we've ever been. But I'm making the most money I ever had my entire life. My husband and I, between the two of us, gross, make like over $80,000 a year. And if you told me a few years ago that $80,000 a year was not going to be enough for a family of four. Yeah, I make more than what I made back in 2015. But I am still literally living paycheck to paycheck. I have to work 60 hours a week and make $80,000 a year to make ends meet. That's insane. I just, I can't even begin to wrap my head around it. Financially, I just, I don't understand anymore. I don't understand how I make $34 an hour and I can't function. I can't function. I can't pay my bills. There's wow. And why are prices for everything going up while all of us make less money than ever? Greed. The answer is greed. We are all suffering because the wealthy and the corporations are so damn greedy! Excuse me. Everything you need to know about the economy in 2024 in 60 seconds. And pay attention because, dude, you are about to be affected. The U.S. GDP is predicted to grow only 0.8% in 2024, including a shallow recession in the first half of the year. Headline inflation is projected to decline 4.8% in 2024, but it will likely remain above 2%. The IMF, the Internal Money Fund, lifted its global inflation forecast for next year to 5.8%. Goldman Sachs warns of extreme job losses and bankruptcies in 2024, which we all knew if you've been paying attention. The global economy is essentially limping along with, with growth projected to slow from 3.5% in 2022 to 3% 2023 to 2.9% in 2024. The world growth outlook for 2024 has deteriorated with China's risks rising, but, but there are plenty of risks to the US economy in 2024, including a potential slowdown in GDP growth, as I mentioned, sticky inflation and a delayed negative economic impact from the Fed's aggressive, very aggressive rate hikes. If you feel smarter now, follow here. I'm gonna be honest. In today's time, it feels like every man is for themselves, every woman is for themselves. And honestly, at this point, every child is for themselves. And the reason why I say every child is for themselves is because a lot of things happen to kids and no one is really, I'll say, raising these kids the way they should. You know, and that's actually... It's like everyone's for themselves. Like, no one could do this. No one could take their kids to daycare. Women are stressing. Men are stressing, as you see in the videos here. Every every human being walking and alive on this earth, on this rock, is for themselves. And it's not only in America, bro. It's all over. Are anyone else's parents storing up tons of food? in the basement to prepare for the upcoming total collapse of America's economy? Or am I the only one with a mother who is obsessed with the apocalypse? My mom is obsessed with the apocalypse too. And I'm obsessed with the apocalypse too. I will never forget the time. I think I said this in a video, but I will never forget the time where I had a feeling back in 2019, early, mid 2019 before you know, the whole lockdown began that 
something big was going to happen. Something where you have to prepare for something. Like, And it was an apocalypse feeling. And to this day, my mom just stocks up on food. Um, I should help her out even more because, you know, I'm getting into that mindset as well. But she stocks up on food. She makes sure everything is intact. And I'm having that mindset. And yeah, that's being an adult. But that's preparing for like the worst. And that's the best thing you could do, honestly, in this world is to prepare for the worst. It's been like that since humans existed. We always prepare for the worst. So we always have multiple of things like multiple food, multiple um, things to protect ourselves, all these things. Instead of like wasting your money on like unmaterialistic things, you know, in the Bible, it says, don't be of this world. And, you know, so many people are of this world and they're, you know, you know, they're not preparing for anything. So, yeah. Should, stocking up for the apocalypse or like food like that is a good idea, though. How are people surviving financially nowadays? Because me and my husband make decent money. We only have one child. We have regular cars. We're still paying them off, so we have car payments. We live in a decent area, nothing fancy. And I feel like we're constantly struggling. And there's people that make less money than me and us, actually. And they're living wild lives. Like, are people just racking up all this debt? Probably. Or am I just doing something really, really, really wrong? Because I feel like I'm always trying to pay something off. Or I'm always on a budget. And then student loans are due next month and nobody's talking about it. Like, how? I understand what she's saying, but that is it for this video. Um, like I said in the previous video about like car insurance crisis. Dog, I said that car insurance is the top three or probably even top two main thing that's keeping us Americans like in depth holding us back financially and all these other things that's why it feels like you're 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 not like she's comparing her life she started to compare her life to other people and that's when she said um it seems like like are they racking up all this debt and I'm there like well you are basically in debt yourself if you have to pay back you know well, if you have car payments, and I think she just talked about, what, student loans? And no one's talking about it. So it's, I guess she has. It sounds like it. If she brought it up, you understand? But you're basically in debt as well. So you're one of those people. But she says racking up debt, you know, because they're living their best lives. And she just feels like she's just doing the regular normal with her husband. Um, have one child, food, roof over your head, paying off car paying student loan debt and not like you know living their life adding extra debt so you i wouldn't say she asks she asks like is she doing anything wrong you're not technically you're not because you're, you're doing what you have to do but hey i don't know what to say i would say just stop like comparing yourself and just be tunnel vision on your life and you know work it out with your spouse on the things that you have to get done you well you have to get done in your life focus on your child focus on your well-being and focus on like tackling that car, those car payments you're not the only one out here you're not the only one and a lot of people in this video even said that like you're not when she they they hope that they're not the only one and you're not the only one it's just that some people don't know where the where to vent to or some people don't have another person to open up to which my channel, hey, I'm an open book, open channel. You could vent to me. You could vent in the comment section, all these other things. You may you may find someone that you could relate to or something that, or that could help you. You never know. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Roll to 1,000 subscribers. Needless to say, everything will be okay. My name is Josh Creates. I am out.